Today I'm going to be reviewing As Above, So Below, starring nobody you give a shit about and the director that'll make a cheap horror film just to make a buck. Now this movie stars a chick that is following her father's footsteps in search of the Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> I can't believe I said that with a straight face throughout the whole thing. The Philosopher's Stone. <laughs> Why did I see this? To save you some money, that's why. But anyway, this chick knows like 40 languages and has 50 PhDs, but conveniently for this movie, she doesn't know the language of the scripture she has to read, so she goes to an old friend of hers so that he can be her translator, and they go on a quest for the Philosopher's Stone. But before they go to the catacombs underneath the streets of Paris, they need a tour guide. So they go and get him, but he doesn't really want to go, but they promise him treasure. Treasure, literally, there's treasure in this movie. <laughs> like, like I, I actually saw a treasure box. <laughs> so the tour guide gets his crew together and they all head down to the catacombs. Oh, also, there's a black guy, the token black guy. We need one of those in this movie. Now, the first 45 minutes or so is just absolute shit. I mean, the movie is boring as hell. All they're doing is reading scripts on walls, pushing bricks out of the way, and shit opens up. And it's just like, okay, it was cool the first time I saw it. Well, not, it wasn't even very cool the first time, but I just don't want to see it again. So just stop pushing shit on walls and just get to the scary stuff, please. And I can't believe I'm actually going to save this, but the acting in this movie is actually fairly good considering that this is a horror genre and usually it's just people like running around screaming, Oh my god! <sighs> That was my Blair Witch Project impression. Not bad, Dutch APEG. Now the real question is, is this movie scary? And I'll admit it, during the second act, there's quite a bit of creepy imagery. And in the third act, specifically like the last 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, there's quite a few jump scares. And there's a couple of scenes that actually kind of creep me out a little bit. So, you know, I'll give them that. They do, they do scare you, but it's still just dumb. It's dumb. Another thing that this movie has going for it is its sound and atmosphere. You're down in these tunnels, it's very narrow, you can't see shit, the, the hallways are just dark as hell, you don't know if something's gonna jump out at you, and they always play these creepy moments where you just see something in the distance, kinda like this. Did I scare you? Probably not. If you're a fan of hand cam or found footage filming, you might, and I mean might, find this movie entertaining. I found it entertaining in some places, but I couldn't really get over the first 45 minutes. The pacing was terrible. The jump scares got old after a while. It did have some creepy imagery, but overall, I can't give this more of a rating than a bad life choice. Don't do drugs. So what did you guys think about this movie? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you going to go check it out? And what's your favorite horror film of 2014? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe, and of course, Stay Bows. <laughs>